Hey beautiful people, it's Rakina back with another video. So in this video, I want to show you what the student loan forgiveness application will look like. And I want to go over a few things with you all so that you guys won't be confused on what you have to do so that you guys can get your student loans forgiven. Now, we were supposed to have like the full loan application, not a preview, but the full loan application early October. So I'm, I'm actually recording this October 11th and we don't have the full loan on application this is actually early october still i'll guess almost uh, mid-october so hopefully we will have this application the full application where we're able to put everything in hopefully we'll have it soon but they did release a preview and i want to show you a preview of the student loan application it will be available pretty soon hopefully and hopefully um we can look at our student loans, forget it. <laughs> For those people that have student loans, um, you have to make sure that you uh, make less than $125,000 a year to be able to get that $10,000. And they have to be government student loans, you guys. And then also, if you got a Pell Grant, then you can get up to the $20,000. So let me show you what it's going to look like, just in case you guys need to work on this application. You can kind of understand you know, how it's going. To work so let me show you what it's going to look like so this is what the application is going to look like you guys so what is student loan um, debt relief so it's a program to, that provides eligible borrowers with full or partial discharge of student loans up to twenty thousand dollars like i said that's where the people that actually um got that Pell grant you can get up to the twenty thousand dollars and then up to ten thousand dollars if you did not get the Pell grant so who qualifies? So individuals who made less than $125,000 in 2021 or 2020, and then families that made less than um, $250,000 in 2021 or 2022. So when you think families, you guys, um, kind of think about those individuals that's married. So if you marry, kind of think about it that way. If you're just individual, you're not married, you're divorced, whatever the case may be, um, if you're not married basically it's 125,000 if you're married it's combined so it's, it's $250,000 now this is how it's going to work so you have to apply you cannot apply today this is just what it's going to look like you guys it's not available right now which is unfortunate i wish that we can be able to put this in now but apply today but no later than december 31st 2023 so that is going to really be that deadline you guys december 21st 2023 to make sure that you submit this all the way it's not going to be an automatic um it's not going to be a automatic should i say like a where they're going to get rid of your student loans it's not going to be like an automatic discharge for you guys you're going to have to fill out this application and then too they're going to determine your eligibility and they will contact you if you need if they need any information your loan servicer will notify you when your relief has been processed so when you submit this application you guys um i'm assuming because i heard that you are not going to be required to send in any um verification of income so we're going to go over that you're not required to send in any verification of income but certain people they will um ask you for verification a lot of people will be able to submit the application i heard without having verification you'll just have to check the box certifying yes this is my income and i'm pretty sure they're going to be they probably got connections with other um, income uh, sources or maybe you sent your income previously so that they can verify your income but you're not going to be required to send in anything but this application so you should just have to send in this application let me continue to go over it so that you can see what it looks like so the borrower's information so you got to go ahead and put your first name in um if you have a middle initial go ahead and put that in put your last name in if you had any former last names you could put that in also and then they're requesting your social security number so you have to put that in twice your date of birth your phone number put your email address in twice and then you have to review this information right here now to me this is the part where you guys are going to read and want to make sure that you are doing what you need to do i don't want you guys to submit this in air or do anything wrong that you cannot get this um relief if they actually give us the full relief because honestly the application was been here like seriously i'm waiting on the application too y'all <laughs> i'm waiting on it too but let's read it so I request a federal loan debt relief up to $20,000. If requested, I will provide proof of income to the United 
um, the U.S. Department of Education. I understand that if I fail to do so by March 31st, 2024, or if my income does not qualify for federal student loan debt relief, the relief will not be um, processed. So it looks like they're going to have a debt. Uh, a date of March 31st, 2024 for you guys to send in verification. And to me, that's just, that's just three months after um, you're required to file. So I guess they're giving you additional time to send in that verification. Now, our student loans are um, you do not have to pay your uh, student loans right now. Technically, you will be required to pay again after December 31st. So a lot of people, they're trying to get the application in now so that they can be able to get all those student loans that they're going to discharge. They want to get all that off. They want to get whatever discount they're going to basically get to me is what it is. Whatever they're going to get off of their student loans, they want to get that now so that when they go into paying it, their payment will be lower, hopefully, and then they have less that they have to pay. Um, so I don't know when the application will get out, be out, you guys, but I don't know. Hopefully it'll be out soon. Let's read a little bit more. So I verified that I am the individual named above. You guys, we already seen we have to put our name in there. I affirm one of the following is true for 2020 or 2021. I may lessen the required income to um, file federal taxes. I am a single tax filer and made less than $125,000. I was married, filed my taxes separately and made less than $125,000. I was married, filed my taxes jointly and made less than $250,000. I filed as head of household and made less than $250,000. Wow. That's different. I had a house holding in the, doing this one fifty thousand dollars. That's different. I filed as a qualifying widower and made less than two hundred fifty thousand dollars. If I don't know if you guys can see this section right here, if you file federal tax, taxes, your income requirements are based on your adjusted gross income, so your AGI, um, which tend to be lower than the total income. Your AGI can be found on line eleven of the IRS form ten forty. Mm, I like that job. So for those people that self-employed and you technically make more than $125,000 a year gross, they're going to go based off of your AGI, your gross, uh, your adjusted gross income. So you can kind of think that, think of that as after all of your expenses, after everything, this is how much I have. I love that, you guys. I really like that. But let's see um, the last pieces of the form. So we're going to have to put our name in here, our middle name, our, I mean, our middle initial, our last name, and then two, our certified under penalty of perjury under the laws of the United States of America, that all the information provided on this form is true and correct. I understand that any falsification or misrepresentation of, on this form or any um, occupying document is subject to penalties that may include fines, imprisonment, or both under the U.S. criminal code, including, but not li limited to, and then there's the code. So that is the actual student loan forgiveness, you guys. That is everything for the student loan forgiveness. Now, if you guys want to review this, um, I'm going to try to see if I can have it available online where you guys can go ahead and click it and see it. But as you can see, it's very, very easy to submit this i don't know when it's going to be out but i'm going to make sure i let you know when it's going to be out you do not have to pay anybody to do this it's so simple it's like it's so simple it's similar to like filling out a credit card application oh, excuse me so you guys definitely i'll keep you guys posted when it fully come out but it's something you guys can do and you have until next year i suggest that you guys submit this right away and um i just want you guys to submit it right away because if you guys are going to be required to pay after December 31st, I would like for you guys to be able to pay a lower amount. Um, that way, if you guys were to get any of your student loans discharged, it will be discharged right away. Um, well, before, the, hopefully it'll be discharged in November. I don't know how long it's going to take for them to process applications. I did read somewhere where people were saying that a lot of people wanted to file now so that in November they would be discharged so that... It, um, December come, they'll have that lower payment. But I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I'm waiting just like you guys. I will keep you guys posted. Let me know if this was beneficial 
um, that I went over this for you. Do not pay anybody to do this, y'all. Y'all can do this yourself. Like literally, it's just like filling out um, a credit application. Like seriously, it's that simple. Um, let's go over it one more time, just so you guys can see how simple it is. Just mind. Let me tell you what I would do. I would put because I don't. I can't. I don't know if it's legal advice or whatnot. Let me tell you what I would do. I would put my name here, my middle initial, um, my current last name. Um, my maiden name, my social security number twice, my date of birth, phone number, email address, email address. I'm going to make sure I qualify based off income. And then I'm going to put my name, middle initial, last name. And then I'm going to check this box and click submit. Boom, it's done. Like it's literally going to be that simple, y'all. But hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if you guys are going to file this. Let me know um, what do you guys think about this in general. And Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, definitely let me know. And don't forget, I have my 60 points in 60 days coming up very soon. So make sure you guys look down in the comments so that you guys can sign up. Five ways to increase your credit score, 60 points in 60 days. So make sure you guys sign up for that. It's free. Um, I help so many people increase their credit scores already. I know this is going to be great because now I'm doing it where everybody will have access to this. And even if you guys don't have any money, it's something that you guys can still do to increase your credit score to put yourself in a better situation. I told you guys we are in a recession and I just want to make it so that no matter what your income is, you're not stuck. You have options so that you guys are just not stuck during a recession. Some people want to lose their houses, their cars. If you guys can do something about that now to prepare for the worst, you guys will be better off. So let's prepare. Let's prepare. And I'll see you guys during that live event. Bye-bye.